Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. It's Oldham Athletic and they take on Scunthorpe United. Yeah, thanks Derek. I always get a buzz from being here. The players will feel the same, I'm sure. Fast start, always a good idea to impose yourself on the game straight from the off. And the lineup for the home side. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. This is how the visitors will set up today. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Whelan. Oh. Whelan. Oh, here's something the visitors know they've really got to work on, Lee. I'm talking about scoring goals. They just haven't had the magic touch. Well, Derek, if you don't have a supply line, it's very difficult for the goal scorers in your team to produce. A creative midfield, finding those killer passes could be the key for them to start scoring. And bag one or two here on the road today. Whelan, moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Careless in possession. Running with the ball confidently. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. The end product just wasn't there. Now, what can they do from here? Spence. Well, they keep passing away. And attempting the through ball. It's there for him. Many will have been convinced that that was going to be the opening goal of the contest. Well, it's a golden chance, isn't it? And he's fluffed his lines. What a big miss that is. Would Alex O'Neill please meet your wife at the Tiffany? Spence. Thank you. Still passing it around with authority. Opportunity! It has to be! And there it is! 1-0! Their efforts have been rewarded! And look at the celebrations!
Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Throw-ins given. The visitors are struggling with possession really again. We've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Looks promising, this. Can they convert? And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot, straight at him, no problem for the goalie. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Rowe did well to win the ball back. Might really be able to trouble them here. Committed challenge. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Whelan. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Spence. all his defensive acumen to cut it out Whelan poor pass Perfectly positioned to take it away. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Couldn't keep it. Half an hour remaining then. Grant. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. And the cross is very much on. Whelan. This looks promising. Spence. Working really well as a team to regain possession. Grant, is it going to be? And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be!
Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Fifteen minutes remaining. Rowe. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Offensive Brazilians to shut them down. And the counter looks on here. Options available. On the attack, is there to be late drama? And space to cross it. Superb piece of goalkeeping to prevent them from falling behind. Oh, top keeping that is. Top, top keeping. Well done. And the substitution will occur now. Played into the centre of the box. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent set piece, but most of the blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper. Your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post, and he just didn't do that and paid the price. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, they haven't been at their best today, that's for sure, but this game is far from over, and the fans are certainly reminding them of that. You've got to think there'll be one more chance or two. Well, he's given us away. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Looks promising this. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, Derek, I really enjoyed this game. Tight in the end. 2-1 suggests it could have gone either way. And that's correct, you have to say. Small margins between winners and losers. That's what makes this game so brilliant to watch.